Hi, man. I hope I can answer a few of your questions. So on number one, they want the probability that your x value, this is your x value, is greater than or equal to x bar plus one sigma. So I locate where x bar plus one sigma is here, and I want the probability of living above there. So I want the probabilities in this zone. So I grab my calculator and add up 13.5 plus 2.35 plus 0.15. And that's going to be a 16% chance. So we'll write it as a decimal, 0.15. And number two, let me erase my markings here. That'll help. Um, number two, I want the probability of my x value, this guy, being less than or equal to x bar plus two sigma. So that's two deviations above the average, which is here. If we want the probability of living below there, we can add up all those zones. Now, I actually find it easy to just think about how half of my curve is 50%. So I'll just add the 50 plus the 34 plus the 13.5 and then put that as a decimal. So it's a 97.5% chance. As a decimal, it's 0.975. And then finally, on number three, let me erase all my marks again. We want the probability that our x value is greater than or equal to x bar minus 3 sigma. So it's three deviations below the average is here. So we will add up every zone above there. Now one thing you can keep in mind is the whole entire region is 100% and the only thing we don't want is that area. So the quickest way is just do 100% minus 0.95%. So it's 99.85% or 0.998.